Sheree and I are about to discuss tips on technology. Um, you know, so right now, uh, due to the pandemic, um, you know, I think it's safe to say that our kids are probably more engaged and even in the future will be engaged into just a more, we're gonna see an increase in technology use. Um, you know, when it comes to their schooling, um, you know, a lot of them, if not all of them, are probably engaged in the video games online. Uh, we have YouTube channels and things like that. So, you know, we can really, if we're not careful, you know, we can really just maybe be doing too much when it comes to technology. So, what are your thoughts on how we should, or what is some advice on kids and technology and maybe how we should like monitor it or manage it um well i agree with you 100 percent. i think that technology is definitely something that's here to stay and not necessarily a bad thing yeah. but i i'm a big believer in too much of anything's too much and i think that could be the case with technology mm -hmm. and through no fault necessarily of anyone's but we're we are using it in excess right mm -hmm. now and it is causing some physical downsides as yeah. well as emotional and, and that kind of thing. So I think that's something to be aware of. So your question was, what can we do? I think set limits, set, yeah, set sure. limits on it. I mean, you know, um, there are things, you know, we're, a lot of people are working from home now, so they're online more than they were. And so obviously you have to do that because mm -hmm. you're working. Uh, the students were on line with schoolwork and they have to do that that's not always the case for them they have to do that um, but we also are on there for extra just enjoyment pleasure and I'm not saying take that out of life but there as far as the screen time we're we're we do need to back away from as much non-essential that seems to be the key word that is as, as possible yeah yeah I mean in, in to me, you kind of hit it another area, too. I mean, it's not just kids, it's, it's, it's adults, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we, I think we all are shifting towards more technology, oh, um, you yeah. know, more more screen time. Um, you, right now, we're making a YouTube for, video, <laughs> for you, you know, <laughs> video for YouTube, right? <laughs> we expect people to watch it, so we definitely, you know, have to, I, I like what you said, too much of anything is just too much. And so, I mean, that that's a principle across the board. So definitely, um, you know, want to make sure that we set limits, want to make sure that we are um, not just messing up when it comes to technology. Yeah, right, yeah. right. Yeah. yeah, there are some downsides that it can create that are not, um, th that are not always reversible. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, there are studies linked to, um, that, that it does create eye problems. At the, at the very least, it creates eye strain. Mm. And that could be a problem, but there it's also linked to other things, and I won't speak to that specifically because I'm not a medical professional. But gotcha. I, I do have eyes, and I don't want them damaged. Yeah. So I, yeah. you know, I, I think that's something to consider. Um, also, it, it disturbs your sleep, mm. and you know we have a bad tendency. I mean, how many people are out there with your phone on your bedside table or whatever? Yeah. I, I do. Uh, I mean, we yeah, all, yeah, you know, I mean, everybody, that. you know, and you're checking yeah. it a lot of times right before you go to sleep. Mm. Well, there's there's a lot of problems with that. The blue light that. Again, I'm not going to get into deep with that, but there's that's that can create problems with our sleep, and it doesn't allow your body to use the melatonin that it has to allow you to sleep and have sound sleep. And basically, when you mess up your sleep, you're messing up everything else because mm -hmm. because your body is, is is required to have that. And we, I mean, you know, we have kids out there at all ages. They're on a phone at different hours, or they're gaming at different hours, or they're doing that kind of stuff, and they're right. not able to get that quality sleep. And, I don't know about you, but the older I get, the more important that is to me. Right, right, <laughs> you know, yeah, so yeah, you want to yeah. be able to sleep through the night. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. so that's that's are just. I mean, those are just some simple things that are um, can cause big problems in our life, and then affect our emotional state, our physical state, and then our quality of life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So yeah, I I would definitely recommend um, taking the advice of too much of anything is just <laughs> too much. Right, um, you know, and there are physical ramifications that can happen. Um, so while we are engaging into more technology use, we just want to manage it and just want to make sure that you know we're 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 balancing it out with um, not just 
you know, just straight up technology use, but you know, making sure that we're we're doing other things as well that can balance it out. So just wanted to just uh, you know say what's up to you all in reference to technology uh, tips for your kids and and also tips for us as adults as we're as we're just walking toward a more um, technology based society. All right, love you, thank you. Be safe, peace.